You wanted better loot in Winter Wonderland? Fed up with primitive trash? Well, Raptor Claws heard your prayers and has delivered. Hello survivors, there's been a slight update to the Winter Wonderland mod which includes item quality scaling being fixed for Raptor Claws letters relating to saddles, armor and weapons. No more time wasted going on a mission to get super nice and end up with standard primitive gear that no one wants. It's like getting socks for Christmas. But is this change worth it? Well, I conducted some tests to see just how improved the loot quality is now, and I wanted to share this with you to see if it's now worth the time and effort. As always, survivors, don't forget to subscribe to keep up with all the latest art news. And before I forget, we hit 25,000 subs yesterday, a far stretch from my goal of 15k. So thank you all so very much. Here's to 2024. Now people ask me in my Winter Wonderland guide what the Krampus costume spawn command was because I didn't include it in that one because I didn't know what it was at the time. I have now found out what it is. You can spawn it in with Cheat GFI Krampus 100. Thanks to Mob Games for sharing that with me. So this is what I did in the test. I spawned in a load of alpha raptors to quickly progress the naughty or nice bar and I did at least five tests for the saddle letter for each slight, quite, very and super nice to see what we get, what rarity and type of saddle. To give you an idea of what it takes to reach each of these levels, I killed two alpha raptors to reach slightly nice, three for quite nice, five for very nice and six for super nice. So I laid out all the loot in the various boxes. The first one was for saddles based on slightly nice. I did this six times and it gave me a mixture of ramshackle, journeyman, mastercraft and ascendant saddles. For parasaur, galley, carbon emmys, manta, sarco and scorpion. Definitely a major improvement from before as previously it was just primitive stuff. Note that these will always be the item itself, not a blueprint which would be much more valuable to get. The next box was for Quite Nice, which got me the same mix, and this time I got Hyenodon, Megatherium, Scorpion, Stego, and Carbon Emmys. There was no real noticeable difference between Slightly and Quite Nice. The next box was for Very Nice, where I did happen to get more Ascendant Saddles. This time I got Ankylo, Hatchy Rhino, Equus, Terrorbird, Raptor and Megaloceros. Again, there was no real noticeable difference with the exception of more Ascendants in the six tries that I did for this one. The next box was for Super Nice, which is what everyone would be aiming for. This one I did 10 times and again got more Ascendant Saddles with pretty decent armor numbers. But again, these are not blueprints, so it's going to depend on how much you value the items over getting blueprints. After that, I moved on to the armor, but this time I only did tests for Super Nice. I did 10 tests which resulted in pretty disappointing results. There was a wider variety of rarity, which included a primitive wooden shield, which is absolutely not worth super nice. But it did provide a pretty decent ascendant flat gauntlets, but overall, definitely not anything here that excites me. The final test was for weapons, and again, I did 10 super nice tests, and the results were much better, but definitely varied. There were some pretty decent Ascendant weapons in there and from experience I have noticed you do get tools included with weapons as well so you need to be aware of that. But overall is this worth it? Considering you can only craft one letter per in-game day to Raptor Claws meaning you'd have to pick between saddles, armor, weapons or dinos and it doesn't include blueprints I honestly don't think the improved loot quality is worth the time and effort involved and you'd probably be better off going for the dino letter anyway. However, based on the results for the saddles, you can still get decent ascendant content with only reaching slightly nice, which obviously doesn't take as much time or effort to reach than super nice. I did test setting up two fireplaces and two Christmas trees 
but you can still only craft one letter per day. That means you'd be able to do up to roughly 24 letters per day if you wanted to commit to this. So only you survivors can decide whether you feel this is worth it or if it's better to hunt down Raptor Claws drops for these items that could potentially include blueprints. I'm definitely feeling like it isn't worth it, but I probably will still do it from time to time for the dinos to see what Raptor Claws gives me. But the fact that you can get Ascendant gear on the lowest level of slightly nice is still actually a decent thing for you to do if you don't have much time. I hope this helped you survivors. Let me know what you think of it. Do you think it's worth it? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up with the latest ARC news.